Hey YouTube, it's Keith, obviously, and today I'm coming to do a quick little wig review on a new unit I am currently wearing. This unit is from RPG Show Hair. It is a 14-inch celebrity-inspired, actually Kim Kardashian-inspired unit. It is in a texture wavy. It is 150% density. Again, it's 14 inches. Um, I believe my cap size is medium or average, and I think that's pretty much it. Natural color. Um, off the bat, I can say I absolutely love, 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 love this unit. Um, it took a lot of work to get it to look like, not, well, it didn't take a lot of work, but I did a lot of customizing it to make it look as natural as possible. Um, but it's definitely a ready-to-wear type of unit. So let me just start from the beginning and work my way up. Okay, so in regards to shipping and customer service, customer service is really, really good with this company. Um... I didn't have any issues in regards to like getting in contact with them as well as getting my product to me. Um, when it came to shipping, it came via FedEx and it came in a timely manner. It didn't take them that long to actually get, send it to me. I would say again to like a week um, from the whole process of it being processed all the way to me actually receiving it. And it came via FedEx. Inside of the actual box when you get it, it comes um, in a brown RPG show hair box and there is the unit itself. Um, I also got a wig cap and an elastic band. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I've been off the wig game for a long time, but I guess that's the new thing is to give elastic bands, but I am totally loving it and I'm so here for it. Um, so yeah, it came with an elastic band, as, but the unit straight out the box was very, very nice. I do have some clips of how it looks straight out of the box before I actually customize it. And by customizing it, basically what I did was um, thinned out the part as well as tweeze my hairline a bit and then I did some fake baby hairs. <laughs> so that's basically what I did to customize the unit. But I'll insert small clips just so you guys can see how I actually did it. Um, but back to the hair itself. The hair is absolutely gorgeous. Again, this is 14 inches. It's super full. This unit looks very, very natural. The texture is a wavy texture. And I really, really love that it's not silky, but it's not like too coarse. Um, you can actually really, really see the pattern and actually reminds me of when I do braid outs on my natural hair. So I absolutely love, love, love the pattern. It's super, super natural looking. I haven't received any shedding or any tangling from this unit. Like I said, when I got it out the box, it's definitely ready to wear. I just customized it just to make it a little bit more natural and just to fit my head a little bit better. Um, when you get the unit, there is already a part. It's a middle part already defined in the unit. And what I did actually was just tweeze the part to make it a little bit wider. That was probably the only thing I would say was a con for this unit is, well it's not really a con, it's just that the part was just very, very thin. Um, I did like that the part was super clean, so they definitely, I can tell like they either bleached the knots or like they really, really like, I don't know, I'm 98% sure they bleached the knots though. Um, but the part was super, super clean. It was just really, really thin. So I did go ahead and tweeze the part a little bit. And then, like I said, I did also tweeze my hairline just because um, my natural hair is very, very thin around the hairline. So to make it look a little bit more realistic, I did go ahead and tweeze out the hairline to thin it out a bit. Um, but the hairline on the unit is really, really nice. It doesn't look too wiggy. It doesn't look too crazy. I just personally thinned it out just to match my face and my natural hair density. I don't have any hair at, out at all. My hair is actually, um, underneath hair in the ponytail. I do have a wig cap on and, um, that's pretty much it. Um, but this is basically sort of kind of in essence the unit straight out the box because I really didn't do too much besides like, like tweezing the part and like I said um, plucking the hairline a bit. Um, but overall I really really like this unit. Like this probably has to be one of my favorite units I have gotten thus far. Like from like all the times I've been wearing wigs this probably has to be like now my new favorite unit like it's so pretty it's so natural i love the length i'm actually thinking about just cutting my natural hair to be this exact length like i love this unit i really really love it and um like i said i did tweeze my hairline a bit i do need to work on the baby hair so i didn't really show you guys how i do my baby hairs because i don't even know how to do baby hairs like it still looks a hot mess but overall i really really love this unit i think it's so so cute like so cute and it's so versatile like if I want I could pin it up I could do like a some up some down type of style and yeah I just really really love like just how effortless and just natural it looks 
Um, but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this unit is from RPG Show Hair. I'll have all the links and details down below. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. And definitely check them out. And this is the unit straight out of the box. All I did was cut the lace off of it. Um, this is the hairline again. So it looks really, really good just straight out of the box without anything being actually done to it. So like I said, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just tweeze the part a little bit and also probably thin out the hairline a bit just because my natural hairline isn't this full. So it looks a little wiggy. Um, so I'm going to tweeze the hairline, tweeze the parting a bit, and that should be pretty much it because I like the wave. I'll probably like cut a few layers in the front. Um, but just to, like customize a bit. Just straight out of the box, you definitely could wear this unit. Really, really gorgeous. Okay, so first things first, this is the parting. So what I'm going to do is actually extend the parting further back. Um, just because it just stops out of nowhere. So I want to extend it a little bit further back. So then I know that I'm going to tweeze it all the way through here as well as plucking here to t open it up a bit and then we're also going to be tweezing and then we're also going to be tweezing again the hairline okay so I have these little tweezers and I actually like to do this off of my head so I'm going to take the unit off and then what I'll probably do because it's going to be the most work is actually tweeze the hairline if you have like a wig head, then you'll want to put your unit on the actual wig head. I don't have a, a wig head, so I actually use my kneecap. <laughs> Push all the hair back. And I basically just take the tweezers and just pull random hairs. So again, what we're trying to do is thin out the front. Okay, so I want to show you guys, so I parted the hair, but again, this is with tweezing. So this is how the hairline is coming along so far. So this is the tweeze side. Versus, so tweed side still going versus the non tweed sides. See, so it just looks a little bit more natural. Let me actually now show you guys a little bit about the part. What I do, I do the same thing where I just grab hairs and I'm actually going at a slight jagged angle because you don't want the part to just be literally straight. I mean, you want it straight, but like, no one's start part is so straight like that. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just keep tweezing out that part. Um, again, I'm not going like literally straight. I'm sort of going, going at like a jagged angle when I'm, um doing this and then this is how it looks with both sides tweezed as well as the part tweezed out to make it a little bit more wider um i'm holding those sections out just because i'm going to cut those for my baby hairs so um this is how it looks after i tweeze the hairline a bit i'm just going to take some regular scissors because i couldn't find my actual shears <laughs> um but i'm just cutting some of those front lengths again to make the baby hairs and I usually start out longer and then go shorter um, because you can always cut hair shorter. You don't, you can't like add hair back. So it's better to be safe to cut it longer than what you initially intend on cutting it before actually cutting into the desired length. And then I'm going to go ahead and just take my edge control. That is my Kara Care edge control. And I'm taking a two brush. And guys, like I said, I suck at baby hair. So yeah, 
Um, but I'm basically just trying to brush some little baby hairs to make it look a little bit more natural, which is what you guys are seeing. And then this is the end results. I feel like I low-key did OD baby hairs. <laughs> um, but this is how the unit looked once I was done with it. So I love the wave pattern. It's so pretty. Um, this, like I said, has to be like one of my favorite units. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Just so effortless, lightweight. I do think I low key probably did over pluck the hairline. Probably sort of, kind of, but eh, whatever. But yeah, this is the end look. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely check out RPG Hair. Bye, guys.